Not since the horrors of the Black Plague has our land seen such despair. Almost two millennia after Sigmar founded the Empire, the realm is fractured and broken. Three rival factions claim the Imperial Crown, Marienburg, Middenheim, and Reichland. Lure of power brings the armies of men against one another in a seemingly endless tide of battle. An island of peace in a sea of conflict, Mordheim drew wealth such as the city had never seen into its walls. But with its prosperity came the corruption of arrogance and hedonism and greed. The gods could not long abide the outrages of Mordheim's populace. In the heavens, an ill star appeared. A great, twin-tailed comet that some priests warned was nothing less than the Hammer of Sigma. They preached tidings of doom and repentance, but their sermons were ignored. An attitude of rebellious revelry gripped the city as the comet grew ever nearer. The grand festival to celebrate the turn of the year was a mockery of the apocalyptic prophecies. It was then that the hammer fell. The fiery comet plowed through the city, gouging a deep crater in the midst of the poor quarter. The wondrous palace of Count Steinhard was broken. The grand amphitheater shattered. The vast great library blighted by a pall of ash. Fire and smoke decimated the populace, but worse awaited the survivors. A malignant corruption that brought with it mutation and madness. The vile taint of chaos. In the shattered city, strange green-black stones were discovered. Strange energies emanated from these shards. Warlocks and alchemists experimented with these word stones and soon determined that their uncanny properties could work wonders. Word stone could heal the sick, regenerate the old, or even turn base metal to gold. Lust for Wordstone focused avaricious eyes upon ruined Mordheim. Treasure hunters descended upon the city, vying with both mutated horrors that claimed the ruins as their own, and crusading zealots who sought to prevent the taint from spreading. Inhuman creatures filtered into Mordheim, staking their own claims. An endless pilgrimage of the greedy and ambitious fighting and dying in a place now called the City of the Damned. Hello everyone and welcome to Swanky Jack Plays Mortheim City of the Damned. I am Swanky Jack and this is Mortheim City of the Damned. Basic rundown, if you haven't said anything about Mortheim as it stands, is it's ultimately Warhammer Fantasy meets XCOM. It was originally a board game, it's now been released as a video game. So let's get right to it. So for the four factions, you've got the Human Mercenaries, the Skaven of Clan Eshin, the Sisters of Sigmar, and the Cult of the Possessed. To give sort of both sides a bit of, you know, Decent amount of screen time. I'm going to go with uh, an evil faction this time round because obviously in Vermintide you play as the heroes against the Skaven. But because you've already seen the Skaven in Vermintide, I'm going to try out ah! the Cult of the Possessed so that the forces of chaos get some screen time as well. Right, so this is the war camp. First thing we're going to do is we got to make our team. Right, so here we are. We are the followers of the damned with their leader Varsin, their hero Voldhar, their henchmen Fell, Bada and Tovin. You notice that it's a fairly melee heavy team just because I've noticed that uh, it seems to be a fairly melee, melee heavy game uh, and that once melee, sorry, once ranged units get into melee combat they lose efficiency quite quickly. Aim of the game is to collect Wordstone which is the substance mentioned in the opening cutscene of the game. Uh, every week which is 10 days you have a target amount of Wordstone to give to your suppliers uh, if you fail to reach a deadline three times, campaign's over. So, uh, I'm not going to go and break down too much of the mechanics as they come up. Um, I will talk about them a little bit. I'm kind of assuming that you guys have either seen Mordheim uh, or seen XCOM kind of games, where it's like there's, there's permadeath and injuries and that kind of stuff. Uh, so as opposed to weighing it down with that kind of stuff, um, let's just get on with it. So first mission we have got... Uh, Average amount of wordstone and poor amount of loot, or very poor amount of wordstone, 
poor amount of loot. Let's go with uh, average amount of wordstone and see if we can try and get our goal fairly early in the week to give us time to level up uh, and get some gold to better our equipment. So in general, there are three general ways of winning. There's either defeating all your opponents, defeating enough of them that the remaining opponents flee, or taking the idol from their cart. So you see, oh, what have I done there? So you'll see, uh, oh god, where is it? Over here, this is our cart. So there's an idol on there. If they steal it, I automatically get routed. And there's their cart. If I steal theirs, they automatically get routed. At this point in time, actually, there is a side objective, which is steal their idol. So I'm assuming I'm going to get bonus experience for fulfilling that bonus uh, objective. So I'm going to aim for that one this time around. Now, there is permadeath, and there are injuries and such. However, unlike things like uh, XCOM and Fire Emblem, uh, if you get wiped out, that doesn't mean it's the end, because you might not necessarily die, or you can just buy new troops. Um, it's all very... You need to be ready to not always win, I think is probably the easiest way of doing it. So we've got some Wordstone over there, but that's kind of away from where I need to be. Oh, I've already seen their leader. Oh, who's also the cops of the possessed? Fair enough. So I've got a rough idea of what they can do. I'm literally just going to have everyone just bum rush towards their their cart and see what happens. So, there you go, I'll drop down here. Uh, so I might hurt myself, but at the same time, it's just... I get there quicker. 13 damage. That's a lot! Christ, did my shins fly out of my knees or something? So I've got a uh, an ambush dance. It's kind of like Overwatch in XCOM, but it applies to melee range. So if they went inside that red circle, they get attacked. So while I am going to be trying to get as many Wordstone shards and fragments around the map that I can, um, something to bear in mind is the longer a fight goes on, the more likely your dudes are to sustain injuries, which obviously is not desirable. So, uh, I am going to focus on getting to the objective, which is taking their idol. Uh, but at the same time, uh, if I come across any, I will pick it up. But if it's too out of the way, it's not worth elongating the battle, considering I've got 10 days to, uh, to get to get my target amount of, uh, of Wordstone. Oh, Wolfkrang, who I believe by the symbol is, there you go, he's their mutant, which is their hero. There you go, or he took a shot, if he gets any closer, he would hopefully get engaged. Ah, so he's going to ambush as well, which makes a lot of sense. Oh, other guys here as well. Ambush dance as well. New round has started. Okay, so if I move, I'm going to proc it. So if I delay my turn, because their leader was somewhere else. Their leader was yeah, leader's over here. Although he's probably he, he would have moved. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna delay my turn. So their guy's going to move wherever he is, and they've got two more guys around the map somewhere else. Delay the turn once more. Delay the turn again, as I have the advantage of ranged combat. I might as well shoot them. Let's target the guy at the back. There you go. Wolf Crane's gonna tr oh. Oh yeah, just clicked why I didn't get an ambush. Uh, I've got a plan, guys. The plan for the record was not getting hit by a hammer. The plan is... Yes, he's going to dodge dance, but... If we cast a spell... Good, good, good. I believe I do 20% more damage to my weapons, so... But it missed. Bollocks! Now, Barra's got a turn. Because that other guy wouldn't have a chance to ambush yet, if I'm not mistaken. This is where it turns out I'm very much mistaken. I'm very much mistaken. Now it's his turn, but he, I believe, has used up. Oof! Crikey, the dodge was not good enough. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh my god, that... Okay, I did not expect him to go down from that, but good job, fell. There you go. His dodge failed. Uh, let's try one more attack. Which he dodged. Okay. Or oh, I missed. One of the two. Do I get to attack twice? Yes, I've got enough points for that. Attack again. There you go. Tovin to shoot. Is that guy on his knees? I'm going to shoot the guy on his knees. Oh, they get him in the back of the head! Good job, Tovin. And then, I will loot whatever that guy had, which is... Right, so sometimes they're objective which I'll take out certain people. Unless you have that objective, those items are literally worthless. Uh, let's just get involved in this guy. End turn. Oh, that was... Oh, that was a good hit. 
I uh, unfortunately have to give him props for that. That was a good hit. However, I'm hoping my hit was better. I'm going to head towards because I'm going to try and give the experience of kills to uh, the mutant. Because when he levels up, he gets new abilities. I know all characters do that, but the mutant in particular sounds interesting. I really should send someone, send someone back to uh, to my camp. Although it doesn't seem to have been a problem. That, however, is definitely a problem. Oh, I took my stuff! Damn it! I need to kick his ass. I'm hoping the second attack will kill him. Yes! I think I'm just going to force a victory. I think it's the best thing I can do. I might have to buy a new staff for my leader if he even survives this. But, uh... Right, let's take it. Still the enemy's idol. Confirm still the enemy's idol. Take it. Done. Let's see what happens. So we got a bit of wordstone from what was lying around the map, plus... I didn't actually pick up any wordstone, did I? Cool. Either way, let's see how it goes. Right, let's check out injuries. Oh, okay. So he's getting a permanent injury. He's got a gammy hand, which I think you can actually see. That might be a bandage on his hand. Uh, maimed hand, uh, recovery time four days, the warrior has suffered a mutilating injury to his hands, so that might well be just for those four days, so he genuinely might have gotten really lucky with that, I just need to treat the wound for him. So by moving on to the next day, I have to pay my guys, the guys, uh, he, he needs to be healed for his injuries, as well as, this is what I was saying about the uh, deadline to give Wordstone him, so I have 10 days left to give 75 weight in words, so I've currently got 7, so I've got uh, one fragment, sorry, two fragments and one shard, which totals 7. So I've got 10 days to get up to 75. Doable, but not necessarily easy. Okay, so I have 9 days left, Varsin's still recovering, I think it's probably worth waiting it out, but I've also given everyone some new equipment, so we will see how that goes. Okay, so Varsin is back, he is fully recovered from what I can tell, let's double check his injuries. So he has got the maimed hand thing, that is unfortunate, uh, but it does mean I can still use him again. So, as you can see, everyone's got some slightly new equipment. Let's get on with it. Let's go on the next day and see what happens. So this time we are against the Skaven, and I've got one other side objective, which is to take down Trice, Nor, and Skrit Squealer uh, to get their sort of a bonus objective, which I believe gets us some extra Wordstone or experience. So I am here. I am not near any ally. I'd say he's probably more alone. But they're, oh, they're warband, like, I could just go for it. I think I'm going to do that. I mean, I know it's not a very brave tactic, but I will get word stones just from, like, succeeding. Because it's almost like a cleanup crew. You have certain, uh, you just get a certain amount of word stone, uh, depending on how much you left in the map, I believe it is. Oh, crap. That's a bad thing. What a great start. What a great start. Oh, even though I've got the I had a 50% chance to hit, I still actually managed to hit. Ooh, that's brutal. Uh, I guess I'm just going to work over and just try and get as much warp stone on my on my way to that as I can. For what it's worth. Word stone, not warp stone, my apologies. Right, so that's Barrow. He's got two hammers and looks pretty cool. If I do say so myself. I'm not so fast about the side objectives, if I'm entirely honest. Um, I would much rather just play it safe. Try and get some wordstone and just and just reach my my weekly quota. I think that's the main thing I need to focus on. Started. Oh, hi. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I really don't know what to do here. I think I'm gonna have to just accept this mission might well be a loss. Right, it's weapons of destruction myself. It says I can curse myself for 19%. I can't. Would that not be a good thing? Because it's like a cursing from one of the Chaos Gods. That's a good amount of damage. And then we'll go into a. Dodge Dance? Dodge Dance. Try to not die this turn? I, uh, good job. There you go. He did exactly what I asked, which was not die. Grab the wordstone. Oh, it's a shard. That's good. That's worth five. Thrak Quickpaw. That's a cool name. Oh, what? There's no way you could reach that far. All right, Barrow's going to back you up, buddy. Oh, good hit. Ah, oh, screw it. Damn it! Good turn, buddy. Good turn, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can stand. You can do this. I have faith in you. 
I had faith in you. Okay, I fire weapons of destruction. Oh, oh, that sounds like a bad thing. Let's see what happens. Damn it! Uh, well, GG. Varsin looks like you're going down again. Just the worst leader ever. Oh, don't have a third guy gang up on the fight. That's just horse shit. So I'm gonna switch weapons. And then stab him in the butt. Valdha. Uh, probably heads towards, um... Fel? That was his name, yeah. We're gonna head towards Fel, who is on... Three health. I'm gonna go see if I can help him. This is going terribly. Well, you tried, buddy. Cool. Okay, well, route test failed. That's unfortunate. Um, as I was saying, that's one of the ways that a match can end. Uh, I got some worse done out of it. Uh, unfortunately, I did have a guy, or two guys go down this time. Uh, so we'll see what the injuries are like from that. It might well be a case of I have to just forfeit this week. I know it's not ideal to have the first week go badly. Cost of defeat. Fortunate return. Sweet! Right, no additional injuries. It just said that- I guess if you're dead, you can't have additional injuries. Well. Cool, at least Valtar's getting somewhere. Open wounds. Oh my god. And lost five experience. Wow, this is... I mean, on the plus side, I haven't got any injuries to treat.